camp out, y'all, for the Air Jordan 1 Rebellion Airs. Is your boy crazy or what? <laughs> like 7 o'clock. The store opens at 11. Get with y'all here in a little bit. Give y'all a beautiful view of the city. Let's do it. Hopefully we get it prepared. Should be plenty out there, supposedly. Uh, and norm normally they uh, uh, give email to uh, people uh, when they won or, or you know, the winner's been notified. They never did that. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, y'all. I don't know. Uh, you know, would y'all do this? It's dark. It's early in the morning, so either, uh, just like the saying goes, early bird gets the worm, or uh, I'm going to be waiting out here for four hours for, for nothing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, for those of y'all that watch my video, uh, I hit on the raffle, um, what was it, for the Air Max 90, Air Max 1, I'm sorry, Air Max 1, uh, heavy, it's dubbed heavy, so I hit on the raffle, so I'm here to pick up... Uh, my sneaker here when they open, they open at 11 o'clock, by the way, and um, two, that they were going to have, uh, I've seen on the Instagram, that they're going to have uh, their Jordan 1 Rebellionaires. Now, I did enter the raffle, and normally how they do it, excuse me, um, they notified, you know what I'm saying, that the, that the winner's been notified via email on their Instagram, and we didn't get none of that for that uh, Air Jordan 1 Rebellionaires, if you will. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know if they're gonna do a first come, first serve, or whatever the case may be. But uh, hey, your boy's here, your boy ain't sleeping. Uh, you know, drop a comment, would y'all be doing this? <laughs> and uh, anyway, your boy's doing this, so y'all don't have to do it. And uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful day today. Uh, right now it's like 46 degrees, it's actually not that bad. I just dressed appropriately, just in case. Because a lot of times it could be windy. And also too, um, uh, uh, I don't know how limited these shoes are. I did call you uh, day before yesterday and ask if there was at least plenty of pairs. And I don't know what plenty means to another person, but uh, the employee said that there was at least 50 pairs. So I'm the first one in line. Hopefully, they didn't cancel or, or push it back. Uh, you know, as far as the release, I would be disappointed. But any, anyway, nonetheless, it's, it's content for y'all. So, you know, your boy's working hard out here for y'all. And drop a comment and let me know what you think about the Air Jordan 1 Rebellion Airs. You can hear the beautiful birds chirping in the morning. So, man, it's a beautiful day. Any day, anytime you can wake up in the morning, just thank God for another day. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, let, yeah, show you. And I'm about to have breakfast here next door at this little place right there. They got some good uh, tacos and stuff. So, you know, very convenient. And also, too, in the corner over there, in the corner over there, there's a the skateboard shop. So sometimes uh, they be getting uh, exclusive, uh, you know, uh, SB dunks, if you will. Uh, they had the Oskis uh, clot. No, is it clot? No, the Oskis. Oskis um, uh, dunk with the shark Nike swoosh there. And your boy found out late. So, you know, I found another low key spot, if you will, uh, to hopefully get some SB dunks, you know what I'm saying, in my hands and in the collection. So. Uh, I'll keep you all posted throughout the day. I'm sure people will be dropping by. And, uh, man, like I said, hey, early bird gets the worm, y'all. Just got done eating breakfast here at the Salsa Limon. I don't know if y'all can see it. Got a pretty good place. Ate uh, a big breakfast burrito. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm waiting on this sneaker here. And guess what? Put a sign up there saying that... Uh, they won't be doing an in-store in-store release and that explains why nobody's out here I'll uh there's a sign up there that says uh, we will not be releasing in-store pairs you know that's that's uh like I said very very disappointing I'm gonna uh, still record the journey the good and the bad and uh you know like i said i, I did uh hit on the air maxes here so i'm just gonna walk around and enjoy the neighborhood enjoy the scenery enjoy the morning uh man yeah just just very disappointed 
because uh you know hey uh they didn't you know release them on sneakers or or uh you know foot locker none of these chains because you know for whatever reason you know back dooring or or whatever the case may be but guess what these uh smaller uh boutiques if you will uh there was another guy i didn't record him showed up right after um right after uh a little while ago should i say and uh he heard and because there's two locations of this store in the dfw area and uh he said that uh one of his friends said that he seen the employee at the other location pretty much i guess backdooring those pairs you know the air jordan one rebellion there so you know that, that that's what gives that's what upsets a lot of us sneakerheads you know uh we we try to do everything we can to uh to you know win these releases you know the legit way you know manually uh standing out camping out whatever the case may be and it's stuff like this that uh man it's unfortunately that it happened but it's never gonna go away it seems like and uh yeah i'm not too happy because you know like i said uh i'm here i'm not gonna drive all the way home and then come back and pick up my pair so i'm gonna walk around this is kind of like the downtown area and uh man i'm gonna talk to the employee i'm gonna fill y'all in and uh man i'm gonna see if i can finagle maybe a pair if they got a pair that they didn't backdoor or something um uh, we'll see but uh yeah good luck to y'all that that join raffles and possibly hit and uh whatever the case may be you know i want to know your thoughts drop a comment you know about these uh you know neighborhood stores or even like like I said the big box stores foot locker sneakers you know how they get botted and backdoored and all that other stuff so anyway drop a comment let your boy know villain man that should be me today <laughs> hopefully y'all chilling and doing good today too as well another recap afterwards after i pick up my pair of my air maxes all right y'all so there's better lighting here it's daylight y'all so like i said i'm taking taking y'all with me on this journey it says there will not be an in-store release for concepts air max one or jordan one rebellion there but uh you know I, like i said i am here to pick up uh my air max one uh concepts collab so either way you know it's not a total say waste you know what i'm saying i made the best of my time i walked about eight blocks that way and about another four blocks that way here is uh you enter the raffle uh, through their instagram and then they notify you via email you know what i'm saying that you hit that you won and then normally how it goes on the next day when the store opens uh then it's first come first serve you know what i'm saying whatever pairs are left over you know what i'm saying that didn't get paid or or claimed or whatever the case may be so i got my fingers crossed Oh, excuse me. That's that breakfast burrito I ate from that uh, restaurant next door. You can see that little neon sign. Good food. But, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, so it gives me a little hope because I'm hoping that it's still the same way. You know, like I mentioned uh, that, you know, hey, any leftover pairs or unclaimed pairs, should I say, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll sell them first come, first serve. So, man, I got my fingers crossed. And uh, so far, it's just me and the other dude. He... Uh, walked around and had to make a phone call but it's only two so man i'm hoping there's some stragglers out there man and hopefully in my size at that so uh collab so either way well it's about 10 30 y'all so there's like six of us here so hopefully you know what i'm saying hopefully there's some leftover pairs and uh man i'm hoping we luck out but like i said either way i'm here to pick up my win my uh air max one concepts so i'm here to pick something up so and hopefully they have some uh, rebellion airs I can get to as well. Like I said, there's like six of us here. So if there are some leftovers, um, I, I think we're in good shape. So anyway, like I said, it's 1030. Uh, I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. As y'all can see, good old DSG. I called, uh, you know, and drop a comment. You know what I'm saying? That for those of y'all that went for the Air Jordan 13s, Del Souls. Drop a comment if y'all took W's, y'all passed, whatever the case may be. But anyway, I took L's on the raffles and I really didn't go for them online uh, this morning. 
So uh, right before I come home, I called over here and they said that uh, that they do have a couple left over, so in my size too. So I'm gonna check them out, see if they still have it, just so I could uh, get them in hand, see what they look like, and uh, do that review for y'all. So 13 to old souls. Switch boy got he's got on the racer blues. Air Jordan fives. And is the, the the inspiration or the concept, if you will, is based off of Woodstock back in 1969. You know, and this is how they dressed, and there was a lot of stuff going on around that time. And so the teenagers and the youth of that time was looked at looked upon as outcasts, but they're very outspoken. Uh, this is a size 13 Nike Air Max One SP. SP stands for like uh, very limited, very very exclusive, if you will, very limited. You know what I'm saying? So if you got your hands on any one of these, you know, congrats. It does have double paper. You see the stamping there. The YDM sticker there. The cool paper. And it is double paper. It's got this paper and then like uh, the regular white tissue paper, if you will. So I think that's pretty cool when they do uh, uh, the boxes, you know pretty cool you know what i mean so anyway this, this sneaker has a lot going on here hopefully i do it justice but i just want to talk about the, the inspiration behind it you know like i mentioned uh woodstock 1969 a lot of the saying was uh sex drugs and rock and roll of that genre you know heavy metal rock and roll and the other two are self-explanatory so that kind of explains like the names of of these the, the trio pack if you will mellow heavy and uh far out if you will so around that time and it's based off a big uh music festival if you will man and hundreds of thousands gathered for the weekend it was a three-day ordeal friday saturday and sunday and i believe uh it was in bethel new york when the first one uh when the first woodstock uh when it made its de debut if you will and you had a bunch of uh the who who the up-and-coming artists of that genre you know, you had Jimi Hendrix, you had um, Carlos Santana, you had the, the Who, The Doors. The list goes on and on and on of, of uh, legendary rock bands that performed live for thousands and hundreds of thousands of people in the crowd. So, like I said, that time period, late 60s and 70s, man, there was a lot of stuff going on. The war, you had the Vietnam War, people protesting. Uh, you had uh, uh, inequality, you had racism, which sadly still uh, happens today, and, and sadly there's still war today, you know, and uh, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, and, uh, and that's the inspiration, you know, behind the shoe, the shoe, you know, is like paying homage, or like, um, you know, to that time period, if you will, you know, for, and it, what I think it's pretty cool, it's a pretty cool history lesson as well for, for, uh, the younger generation of today too, you know, uh, that, uh, you know, be outspoken and, um, you know, live free, if you will, have, have that free spirited, uh, mentality, if you will. And that's the, what the people had back in those days. Now, look at this beautiful woven. So that was a, a quick uh, history of Woodstock, if you will, and the inspiration and the concept behind these uh, Air, Trio Air Max, uh, Air Max One uh, uh, Triple Pack, if you will, but they're sold separately. Uh, they retail for 170 if I didn't already mention that, um, exclusively to Concepts and, and certain uh, uh, stores around the country, and they retail for 170 and uh, man, beautiful shoe, beautiful shoe. You got look look at the stitching and the woven between the, the laces. Brown. You actually got cowhide there. That's actually cowhide. <laughs> A lot of stuff going on. So that would explain, you know, probably because you know the festival, Woodstock would be like in a big, huge open field. You know, so I don't know if there's cows nearby or or you know, back in those days, uh maybe they used uh this material for the interior of their vans and 
whatever cars you know what i'm saying i don't know somebody drop a comment let me know uh and then you have uh uh d tied tied i mean tied dyed uh denim goes around the toe box and around the toe box it does have something stitched on there and it has a sign which i don't know what that means to be honest you you, you see like a slant the star and the moon uh Somebody drop a comment and let your boy know what that is. Uh, on the tongue, Nike Concepts. You got suede material on the tongue. Man, feels pretty good. Let me see if there's anything on the end of the shoelaces. No, there isn't. But yeah, you have the denim around the eye stays. And... The inspiration, like I said, a lot of it has to do with that time period. You got the flowers and the swoosh. A lot of the women in that time wore flowers around their ear, around their hair. You got bandana. You got tiger camo. And you got the bandana because, you know, they were they were also dubbed uh, hippie. And you can see uh, in the Nike Air there, they got some stitching. Uh, 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 strings still you know popping out you know whatever and it's got designs you got the Nike swoosh there around the bandana bandana heel part and up here up there is the strap for the guitar you know if you're a musician you know that they carry that strap or whatever to help you know hold it hold, hold it up and that's what that uh blue deal is oops sorry about that that's what that blue deal is around there and then that's pretty dope because it has concepts written on there man so much detail so much detail so yeah that little like blue and red line going through it and that, that little it looks like uh railroad tracks that's the strap of the guitar the musician's guitar to help him hold it up while he's playing man this is pretty cool you got the tiger camo which a lot of people used in those days uh whether where the whether it's pants or, or jackets because there was a lot of uh you know military vets too as well you know that you know obviously participated in woodstock and protested the war wow and then the midsole here is sail colorway and it got like a little splatter of that uh that brown or that uh, bu uh gum gum splatter if you will and then the air bubble is the same color as the outsole i don't know if y'all can see it this is totally different this is loud your boy sir local uh doesn't do loud but this you know is a great collector's piece i can overlook the loudness and just by the storytelling and the materials the, the fabric on these is man a1 a1 and let's get to the outsole your traditional air max one outsole man this is ahead of ahead of its time you know air max one still holds true to this day and and, and it's man i don't know when uh the air max one came out if it was uh in the 70s late 70s or or 80s i think it's late 70s somebody correct me but nonetheless been around a long time man and and <laughs> wow let's look at the the inside here bear with me drop a comment let your boy know uh what what y'all think about the shoe you know or at least about the story or the homage would y'all rock something like this do y'all like air max ones drop a comment let your boy know and these doesn't have a shoe tree they have like the you know stuffed paper in them i'm trying to get it out now and um, let's see if I can get an insole out. I'm trying to bear with me though. But yeah, man, check that out. What a beauty. I'm surprised I hit, y'all. I really am surprised I hit. Okay. So there you have it. Here goes one of them. And it's pretty thin. To be honest, the C for concepts. You see concepts on there. 
It says this shoe contains real fur, fur type, dyed adult bovine fur, whatever that is, fur, fur origin Brazil. Wow, so, so this sneaker does have fur, actual fur. See it? Okay, there goes the insole. Enough of that. But yeah, just the materials, the denim. Uh, let's see here around the eye stays. You got corduroy. You got a little patch of corduroy. There you see it. And you got like a little silver silver plate deal. Here. That's pretty cool. So you got all kinds of materials going on. You got the corduroy. You got the cowhide there. You got the denim. You got the other material, the camo. And you got the stripe check, the swoosh on the lateral side, you know, for, you know, what, you know, whatever they wore back then, you know what I mean? You got the guitar strap one more time. You got the bandana and the orange. Man, it's dope. It comes with two extra laces, as you can see it. And the flowers, you know, that's what they call the girls, flower child, flower girls, whatever. And like I said, they wore flowers, you know, had that free spirited, uh, uh, mentality if you will you know what I'm saying while well, they're all jamming out to their favorite artist uh, live now this this uh, lace on the left hand side and somebody correct me I don't know what material this is I do not know what material this is uh, man well no no Man, I don't even know what material this is, but but it has texture to it. Velour, not velour. I don't know, y'all. Somebody drop a comment. Let your boy know, you know what I'm saying? But this is definitely, you know, a nice nice addition. And then you got your white uh, flat laces here. Man, I, this is killing me, y'all. Somebody drop a comment. Let your boy know. What, what kind of material is this? Man, this is this is pretty dope. So, what uh, what lace would y'all rock it with? You know, drop a comment. Let your boy know. The white, this velour lace there with a the different material, and, or this the lace that it has on it. You know what I'm saying? Drop a comment. Let your boy know what you think. What you think about the Air Max Trio? And out of the trio, which ones do you like more? The, the mellow, these are the heavy, and the far out is, is uh, yet to be announced to release. And uh, this right here, this Nike uh, little pendant here, if you will, represents the, the guitar pick. Concepts. Man, this is dope. This, this got a lot going on. A lot going on Nike and like I said that little deal there the guitar strap you got the guitar pick for all the musicians that played legendary musicians that played at Woodstock denim is what they wore obviously man this is this is a beautiful sneaker it is I mean it's not for everyone but just just the storytelling and the materials itself you have to respect it whether uh you know you like these or not you know because woodstock is uh goes down in history for sure and air max one is definitely definitely a legendary uh sneaker as well so put them two together and, and you cannot deny you could you cannot deny its presence you know so to me for what it is storytelling and the materials like I said, this is a little bit uh, too loud for your boy, but man, just, just for the storytelling, and I actually hit on something uh, exclusive. I guess I can say exclusive. You know, I don't know what the stock numbers are, but uh, this is definitely a collector's piece. Man, hopefully I can hit the third one, uh, the far out one, dub far out. Uh, I need to get two out of three if I can. So anyway, there you have it. Air Max One Concepts. Heavy. Let your boy know. 
let your boy know drop a comment and let, let me know what you think about this uh silhouette this air max uh if there's any uh upcoming uh air maxes that's releasing this month because like i said this is air, uh air max month march 26 so be on the lookout for more air maxes to be dropping between now and the end of the month so anyway i'm, I'm glad to add this to the collection i don't have an air max one so this be a great uh you know collectors you know what i'm saying this would be definitely one of them sneakers that when you wear them and you rock them uh people are definitely gonna be looking and wondering what are those <laughs> hopefully in a good way y'all but but yeah so there you have it air max one uh concepts collaboration uh dubbed heavy and uh until next time you know what i'm saying this is the main ingredient uh y'all walking and, and going with me on this journey this air max one is is the main ingredient but your boy can't cook without the special ingredient and that's every single one of y'all taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos i appreciate the support i appreciate the new family members thank you welcome this is a sneaker channel and uh man i do appreciate y'all you know help me grow to to a thousand subs y'all we're on our way we're on our way y'all so anyway hopefully y'all having a, a good day a blessed day and uh enjoy the rest of your weekend peace